Hey, it's Brandon Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be diving into the placements rule on Scale Insights. Now, many of you are probably going in and amending placements manually. Well, this is going to take that work off your hands and make sure that you can have criteria trigger those rules. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how to get this set up. Now to get here, all you need to do is go dashboard automation and placement rule. And from here, you'll be able to set up and assign your rules. So for example, this is uh, the demo account. So you can see these are the scale insights rules just by default. So, and you go in here and you can set all of your criteria. So let's uh, move this out of the way. It's not too bad. And you can see, so here you can set your top search amount what the trigger is. So this is uh, greater than 30 orders, greater than 15% conversion rates, lower than 80% ACOS. So when that triggers, that will then increase the placements by 100%. You can also have this go uh, incrementally up by whatever percentage you want. So say you have it at 50% and you set this to, to 10, that's only gonna go up to 60%. Same goes with the decremental value. So you can have it go down just as slow if you want to do things on an incremental and decremental basis kind of keep things very stable i'd recommend setting that up but if you're looking at days where you have higher volumes such as like prime day you want to set up where your placements take over when the conversion rate for example goes higher you want the placements to go higher as well then potentially you'd want to set up a rule like this so you can, you can go and get that set up, go into placement rules, um, create your own rule. So you can do all of it in here, just as I showed you and criteria profiles. So I've showed you in other videos how to do that, but you can say, say you want 30 clicks and you want say five units sold, uh, conversion rates of say 10%. So your average conversion rate is 7%, you want it to go to 10%, then it triggers that rule, increases the placements by so and so percent, and that's that's how you get it all set up. So it's quite quite easy. You can uh, create that, so make sure you just put a, a name, and it should show up in here. So it's really simple. If you wanna get this set up, definitely recommend it. I'd also recommend maybe using uh, standard bidding rules, maybe some day parting, uh, negative rules as well, if you haven't already. Daily budget rules gonna be good for big days like Prime Day, Christmas, etc. So definitely worth having a look at these rules depending on what time of year you're watching this video. Um, in the case that you need help with your Amazon PPC, you, you don't know where to begin or you just don't have the time, our email is in the description so you can contact us directly. So we work with Scale Insights all the time. So we're, we're happy to help you out with getting that set up as well as getting the right rules in place for your business. We, we like to audit your account, have a conversation with you and see what rules would benefit your business. So that's the way we operate. But in the case you wanna set this up yourself, we have a lot of different videos on Scale Insights going to all the features. So definitely subscribe because you're gonna get a lot of useful content if you stay subscribed to our channel. And one last thing, we do have a relationship with Scale Insights, so we're able to offer a 10% off discount code in the description, lifetime discount, as well as a 30-day free trial with no need for a credit card. So if you sign up using that link and you're not using Scale Insights already, you'll get to take advantage of that discount. So hopefully that's been helpful and hopefully you can get Scale Insights running, get that working for your business and take some of that time off your hands. So as the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you then. Bye.